This is a screencast about the Zicky framework. The topic is web development. Zicky is Emacs features for developers written in Ruby. Check out the website. You can find more screencasts there. You can join the Google group and you can install and check out the code. Zicky is, among other things, a web development framework. First, I'll go through some highlights pretty quickly without explaining what I'm typing. Everything you see in these screencasts, except for the shark, is text in text files. If you open them in another text editor, it would look the same, except it wouldn't have the coloring. The keyboard shortcut for executing something in a tree or expanding or collapsing something in a tree is control enter. When you develop in Ziggy, you typically have a file tree on the left, just like you do in most development environments. You can navigate it using the keyboard or your mouse. Up here is the to-do area. One of the ways to create a web app in Ziki is to go to the Ziki plugin, do a control enter on an empty line. I'm going to go to the Merb plugin. I'll use one of the directories it suggests by default in temp, and I will create the app by doing control enter. Notice it's running the command to create the app in a embedded console. Let's generate a controller using the default name and then I'll start the app, which it also uses a embedded console for. We can conveniently open the URL for the app like this. Let's go to the controller we created, control enter, and there it is in Firefox. You can easily define wiki syntaxes to serve as shortcuts for URLs in your app. PN stands for the Protonite app. I'll shrink the window down so you can see the browser behind it and I'll do a control enter and you can see it bring up the app in Firefox. Ziki lets you create logs that show the execution tree of your apps. I'll delete this and reload the browser again and you'll see that it shows you the action was called in the controller, then in turn another method in the controller was called and that called the model. Each one of these is navigable you can do a control enter to go to that line in the source. This is one of the ways of interacting with the browser from Ziki. It will click the first link containing the string edit. If I do a control enter, notice something happened in the browser and it's telling you what happened. This action called this model method. These are the parameters that were passed and this is the data it got back. This is the syntax for running unit tests if you're using RSpec. This is the controller and here is the spec. If I do a control enter on that you'll see that the execution tree now starts with the spec you can see over here that the spec failed. Let's control enter here to navigate to that line. And it looks like we didn't escape our parentheses correctly in the regex. So let's fix that and rerun the spec and it passes. There are various shortcuts for committing to the source code repository. They show you a tree of your diffs. You can control enter to collapse each diff as you review them. Then you can change your commit message and control enter to commit. 
From here on out, I'm going to slow down a bit and explain the keys I'm typing. I'll go into more detail about what we've covered so far, and I'll cover some new things. If you are confused about the keyboard shortcuts, go check out the screencast on keyboard shortcuts at ziki.org. As we saw earlier, one of the simplest ways to create an app is to use the Ziki plugin if there is one. You can see all of the Ziki plugins by doing a control enter on a blank line. Whenever you expand in a tree, it turns the cursor blue and starts off an incremental search. So I'll just type M-E-R to narrow down. And then I'll do a tab. And that shows me the options in the plugin. Some of the miscellaneous options here uh, are showing you some links to some MERB sites. This shows you the version of MERB that you have. I'll hide those for now and drill into the tree for our app. You've seen the first few options. Let's check out some of the others. You can run a MERB console or just a shell for the app. You can look at the rake tasks and narrow down and run them. And you can do several other things like run your migrations and browse the app itself just as a convenient way of doing it from here. If there isn't a plugin for the type of app you want to create, you can create a plugin, which is pretty easy. Or easier yet, you can use a notes file with just notes that you just type in to create an app. I can do a do outline. ME, since ME is the shortcut for my MERB notes, and I can type create and go to my notes for creating an app. Then I can do a control enter to run the command. And I can control enter here to start it. And I can control enter here to go to the URL. And this is just a text file, so you can put anything in here you want. Notice I've got an alternate way of creating an app with uh, using Hamel for the template engine. I'll shrink down the window so you can see the browser behind it. Normally you would do layout dimensions half for this. The key shortcut for reloading the browser is do load browser. You saw the click wiki syntax earlier. There's also a syntax for running JavaScript in the browser. If you know the name of the method you want to call, you can just call it like this. I'll do a control enter to run it. Anytime you have something in the view on the left that you can control enter on, you can uh, do the do upper key shortcut to rerun it. So if I was going to change this, I can do a do upper and it will rerun what's in the view on the left. One of the main ways of navigating in Ziki is searching. For example, if you are looking for some text in your web app, you can do a search. Uh, I'll do an enter search here, which will insert it into the current file. PM is the shortcut for the prototype MERB directory, and then I'll search for that text, new sign ups. Then, of course, I can control enter to go there, and I can do load browser to see my change. There are several other ways of searching. If you want to search in a new view, instead of inserting into the file you're looking at, you can do a do search. I'll type PV because that's the bookmark for my prototype view directory. 
and I'll search for, say, CSS. Any tree you see is navigable. I could go down here and search for image. You can do other searches within the same tree. I'll search for text area and see what I get. It often makes sense to start searching in a new view, and then once you find something interesting, grab it and do a layout file to go to your files and paste it in there to use later. This screencast is continued in the Ziki Web Development Part 2 screencast.